An incredible race! Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aidan Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric, and we couldn't have asked for a better finish for the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. wins the F2 championship. What a win for Jackson, what a win! And it couldn't have gone to a better driver. A magnificent result. He's already been vocal about his dreams of one day driving for Mercedes in Formula One. Let's just hope the right people are watching today. And here he is, the man of the moment. Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So. Yeah, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Kasper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Kasper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures were all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Casper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? <laughs> Aiden. Just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> You come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's gonna be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. got this. What a brilliant Australian Grand Prix this has been, but there's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Aiden, Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's okay. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11. Oh, this can't work. And it doesn't. Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he okay? It's Casper okay. He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it. So I'm sure there's going to be fireworks in the Racing Point garage this evening. There will be Crofty for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. 
Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aiden Jackson. Not how his F1 race debut should have gone. A great race then and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia at. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport. And it'll be interesting to see how the new racing point driver, Aidan Jackson, settles in, especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh, Butler. Um, Devon, I didn't see you there. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't settled in yet. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper <laughs> might be wondering what on earth Racing Point were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Aiden. Let's talk about that incident with your teammate. It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favourite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aidan Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Crofty. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. And the rumour in the paddock, Crofty, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin. He's marched his teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. OK, Ada, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. Well, plenty to digest there, and a little bit ominous seeing the two Racing Point teammates make contact again. Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've barely been teammates five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me. He's certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. Casper. What the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper. Come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper. Ackerman! Mum, cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? Right now? No. <laughs> And why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackman. 
should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. He didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. He never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong! <laughs> Chin up! Another superb French Grand Prix comes to an end, and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. Business as usual for the big three, but a bit of a reshuffle in the midfield here in France. That's certainly much better from Racing Point. Frankly, they should be in the mix more often. On a good day, they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. And they've certainly proved it today. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Aidan, congratulations. You got on the podium. That's a what can I say? I smashed it. Let's be honest. I was challenged and I delivered. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come for the rest of the season. Well, it's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? Definitely. In my mind, there was never an issue. Driving for Formula One is all I've ever worked towards. The transition was always going to be smooth. There's no complaints for me so far. So there's no current tensions within the team? We've all seen that you and Casper have locked horns so far this season. Is that something that's now behind you? Well, that's up to Casper. Maybe he thinks I'm yet to prove myself. Who knows? Hopefully today has gone some way to doing that. If there is still a problem between us, it's not from me. Thank you for your time. We are then a fantastic British Grand Prix, and what a performance it was from our race winners today. What a race for young Aidan Jackson. If he can keep this up, he's got a long, promising career in front of him. Absolutely. He'd have been gutted about that puncture. Imagine what kind of challenge he'd have been able to make without it. You've got to give it to him, though. He gritted his teeth and pulled it back. Great driving. Now, whisper it quietly, but things seem to be on the up for racing points Aidan Jackson. What to watch? I'm not sure if it's something to do with the energy storage. But I'm losing power on the straights. Right. And you said the acceleration was okay. Hmm. We'll take a look at it. And how are we today, chaps? Everything running smoothly, I hope. <sighs> All right, Brian. Yeah, we're just going through a few last-minute tweaks. Ah, that's what I like to see. With dedication like that, maybe you'll be able to get us back a few more of those points, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Actually, Aiden, I'm glad I've caught up with you. Uh, I thought you might like to know. I had a call this morning from Toto Wolf. Mentioned you directly. Oh. I think they're sniffing around for next season. You're being watched. So, no pressure then? So, uh, what's the problem with the car? I'm losing power on the straights. It's not a massive issue. I'm sure we can deal with it. Yeah, theoretically, do we have time to install the Spec 2 unit? Before the race? Yes, boss. And Casper's reporting no problems? No. OK. Let's do it. Put the spec to in Aidens, would you? Well, that would sort it. I mean, if you're sure. Well, of course. You could do with a little boost. A little boost. <laughs> Besides, anything for our star driver. Casper, how are you today? Feeling good about the race? Well, 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 quite the rivalry forming between the rookie Aidan Jackson and his veteran teammate Casper Ackerman. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of when Hamilton signed from McLaren back in 2007. And we all know how that one ended. Alonso returned to Renault pretty much the moment the season wrapped up. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. So it's a decent result for you today with a finish in the points. How are you feeling, Aidan? 
I'm just glad I could deliver for the team. Casper and I are both trying to push ourselves as much as we can. So it can get a bit competitive. It is a good feeling to be the one coming out on top. A big talking point, irrespective of today's results, is how you've improved overall throughout the season. What would you say to that? I couldn't do it without the support of the team. They've been incredible. I'm feeling looked after and I couldn't ask for more. So any improvements are thanks to them. It's funny you should mention the team as a whole. Can you give us an update? How is the current relationship between you and Casper Ackerman? Casper's got a way about him, you know? He's hot-headed. He can get offended easily. I'm learning that I've just got to accept that. Any problems are his, not mine. Appreciate your time. It's clear from anyone watching, either in the stands or at home, the determination on show from Racing Point and Aidan Jackson today. No, you're not wrong there, Ant. His performance has improved race by race throughout the season and his driving today impeccable. Here's a test room now, though, as they head down the main straight. There's a lot of friction between these two and his teammates after him. Will he budge? Hold position, Aidan. Oh, I've never seen anything like this on a racetrack before. Two teammates wheel to wheel. Keep it clean. Inches separating them and they crash. Oh, they've come together in spectacular style and they're both out of the race. Close the door. Sit down. What the hell is going on out there? We've invested millions in you two. Millions. And look at you both. Acting like, like a couple of school kids. You've got a lot to prove this year, boy. And you're swanning around like butter wouldn't melt. And as for you, you should know better. I'm disgusted. You should both be ashamed. Brian, Not a I... word. Not a single word. I should fire you both right here and now. You've screwed our chances this season. The team is bigger than you two and your petty squabbles. Grow up! Any more, and you're both out. Do you hear me? I'll finish the season behind the wheel myself if I have to. Both of you, get out. Go away. Hey. Hey. So, what did he say? Threatened to fire both of us. He won't. That's not the point. I'll just leave you be. Is Lily okay? Does she know I'm safe? Yeah. She saw you climb out. She's fine. I left her with your mother. Okay, good. You've survived worse, you know? Doesn't make it any easier. Maybe not, but you're not hurt. And you have a family who love you. The rest are just details. I'll see you later.
season of Formula One racing is upon us. Some teams confident following pre-season, whilst others still looking for answers. Let's see what the future holds for them as qualifying gets underway here in Melbourne. So, Aidan Jackson in ninth. And Aston Martin still hopeful the youngster can secure a decent position. Let's see how he gets on here. Teammate Kasper Ackerman didn't make it through to Q3, narrowly missing out by just 13 milliseconds. He did all you could. If I went out second today, I would have those 13 milliseconds back, no problem. Why do they keep sending me out first? 11th isn't the end of the world, Kasper. You'll make those places back. Yeah, for sure. But you shouldn't have to. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Well, what's happened there to Kasper Ackerman? Still managed to finish, but that's got to be frustrating, Ant. Yeah, it looks like maybe it was a gearbox fault, which is always a blow for the driver. Ackerman won't be happy, but I'd say he's done very well in the circumstances. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. So, not a great race out there for you today, Casper. Can you talk us through what... I don't want to go into details. I'm angry. I'm really angry. I was ready to push it today. To have all that preparation and focus wasted by a vehicle fault. I'm, I'm almost lost for words. Well, despite obvious vehicle difficulty, you still managed to finish. How hard is it to bring it over the line when... Well, this is where experience comes in. You just have to switch off. Be mindful, but try and ignore what is going on around you. To concentrate only on the problem at hand and hope for the best. While it's an unfortunate start to this season, last season was muddied by a tense relationship with your teammate. That was last season. It's no secret that Aiden and I had a few run-ins. But that's a risk when you put two drivers together for the first time. I don't like to look back, only forward. I'm sure he's learned a lot and... We'll see what happens this season. Great. Well, that's everything. Look, I'm, I'm losing grip. Understood. Can you box next lap, Casper? Box next lap. No. I need to come in now. Oh, it's quite bad. We've got Aiden coming in now. Just hold out one more lap, please, Casper. Isn't he a lap down? Yes, he's uh, on a different strategy, though. Haven't I got priority? He's boxing now. Please hold off, Casper. Fine. Nope. I'm all over the place here. I'm coming in now. Must have been pretty urgent for Aiden, huh? Please be patient, Casper. Goes another place. And another. Okay. Let's go, let's go. An interesting little encounter between Ackerman and Jackson in the pit lane. And might that cause more friction behind the scenes? Ackerman sounded pretty angry on the radio, didn't he? Told to box the next lap, but he came in anyway. That's not the decision of a man thinking clearly. Is he bringing his personal grievances onto the track? I think he could be. They denied each other a significant number of points last season. And if today's anything to go by, those issues look like continuing. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Congratulations on a tough race today, Casper. To all of us watching, it seems... Well, it's unfortunate, but these things happen. I felt the tyres begin to go off and realised I needed to come in. It was a calculated risk. There's not much else to say. I pulled it back and finished the race, so... No harm done. So the problem we all witnessed today was a team call and not a sign of continuing tensions again this season. Well, I'm not going to lie, as I'm sure it's obvious to everyone here. Aiden and I have never really seen eye to eye, which causes some tension. But we're also professionals, so it shouldn't get in the way of our performance. I'm sure we'll work through it. Why do you ask? Well, you seemed angry on the radio with your team. People are asking if that's an indicator of a deeper issue behind the scenes. What would you say to that? I can't really comment on that. It doesn't matter what's going on behind the scenes, as long as we all perform on the day. Thank you for your time. I just don't get it, Zoe. 
gets to pit ahead of me. And they give his car the only new power unit last season. And he gets to go out behind me in qualifying. <sighs> this kid is a new number one driver. I don't believe that to be true. But then why does he get paid more? You're still upset about that. No. Well, I, I don't know, maybe. I just wish I never found out. It's not the money, though, is it? I'm old. You're not old. Like this again. I, I am old. For a driver, I'm old. Come on. This is your last season. You said you'd make it count. Shh. I still need to tell them. When will you? Soon. Okay. Well, in the meantime, forget about Jackson. Okay. And stop playing the victim. It doesn't suit you. All right, okay. It's Sandvort next, remember? Everyone's gonna be rooting for you. Be the guy they love. And hey. What? Be the guy I love. Well, that's... that's cute. Did you come up with that yourself? I'm a natural-born charmer. Hmm. Verstappen's got nothing on me. You had to ruin it. What a race for Kasper Ackerman, proving the naysayers wrong with an emphatic performance. He'll be delighted by that podium finish. Well, we all know he can do it. It's just been a while since he has. Great race from Ackerman and some much needed points for Aston Martin. fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. A podium finish today, Casper. Here in front of your home crowd. How does it feel? Well, my family is here today, my wife and my daughter, so I'm delighted I was able to have a good race for them. It means the world to have them here. And I, I think I would have been miserable tonight if I didn't have a good race, which wouldn't have been fun for anyone. So yeah, I'm really happy. And the fastest lap too today. Is that something you expected? All the work the team does is to be the fastest out there. That's really the only goal. So yes, we did expect it. And we expect it from ourselves every single race. Whether or not we achieve it is another matter. But we're not surprised when we do well. That's what we're all working towards. How is everything at Aston Martin? Are spirits high? Is the team happy? I won't lie and say we're having a great time. Everyone knows we've struggled a little bit recently. And things aren't 100% right now. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. Look, any job has its issues, and driving in F1 is no exception. But the focus is very much on turning things around. Great. Well, that's everything. Hey man, great race today. Thanks. <laughs> nice one, Casper. <laughs> Can't argue with that performance. Shame your teammate couldn't bring himself to congratulate you. Nah, well he's just a kid. A kid who's getting signed by Mercedes. So they say. Never gonna happen. Oh? <laughs> you keep a secret? Yeah, sure. I've been approached. Really? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Keep it under your hat, but uh, talks are going well. So you're going to have to get on with Jackson for a little while longer. Yeah, well, we get on fine. That's not what I heard. No? Yeah? I was chatting with one of your mechanics. He had some very interesting things to say about Jackson. You know what his problem is, don't you? Go on. Thinks you're getting too old. Says you're not fast enough anymore. Too old? <laughs> hey, mate, his words, not mine. You want my advice? Prove him wrong. See, he should respect you like I do. Great race out there today, buddy. Yeah? Ciao.
Jasper Jackson is faster than you. We need you to let him pass. Do you copy, Casper? Let Jackson pass, please. I don't understand. You can have the place back if you can't pull away. Is he landing quicker? Yeah, he's behind you, Casper. Confirm you'll let him pass, please. No, he's not close enough. Come on, Casper. You've got to ask yourself what is going on behind the scenes at Aston Martin. This rivalry between the two drivers, it's simply not going away. You wonder how many more points they're going to squander. I think Aston Martin have got a real problem here that they need to deal with. I don't know how, but they've got to address it. You think of what happened in Mexico last season. The two drivers took each other out of the race completely. How long before we see a repeat of that? As you so rightly say, Ant, something's clearly not right over there. What was that? Hey! Just leave it. No, just talk to me for once. Just let go. Now back off! Why do you have to be like this? Oh, so I'm the problem! You won't let me pass. You won't even talk to me. You want respect, you give respect. That's how it works. How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? How am I supposed to do that? I'm all ears. You give me space out there. What's your problem? I'm trying to win. Oh, and that makes you special? You're a nightmare, Casper. Well, you won't have to put up with me for much longer. What's that supposed to mean? I am sick and tired of all this. I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Wait. What? Casper! Casper! Ackerman's done well to finish in the points there, but in stark contrast to his Aston Martin teammate Aidan Jackson, who didn't even finish at. Yeah, Jackson's looked off the pace all weekend. His performance just isn't where it should be. You can see the odd error creeping in on track too. Well, if you believe the rumours, the Aston Martin camp is not the happiest of places right now. Yeah, and that can affect even the most experienced of drivers. I just hope Jackson gets his act together. He's a promising talent and he's much better than this. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Today's race certainly had its ups and downs for you, Casper. Are you pleased with that performance? Not really, no. I think there were opportunities out there for me to do better than I did. I know I didn't have the best start, but after the safety car came out, it was a different race, and I could have maybe capitalized more than I did. Speaking of the safety car, Devin Butler has gone on record calling you lucky to get the result you did. Did luck come into it today? <laughs> I think Devin sometimes struggles to accept any result that doesn't go his way. Look, we all know safety cars change races. Today was no different. If Devon watches the replay closely, he might see that luck didn't drive my car out there today. I did. Teammate Aidan Jackson was forced to retire today. Would you say he's going through a bit of a rough patch? I'm not here to talk about Aidan. You'll have to ask him about that. Thank you for your time. Casper. What's going on? We need to clear something up. Take a seat. Clear what up? Aiden thinks it's his fault that you're retiring. I'm sorry, Casper. I do respect you. Quite a lot, in fact. And I don't want you to retire. I didn't mean the things that I said. And I want you to know that if you're retiring because of me, I'll... <laughs> Will you tell him? This anxiety... It's no good for his performance. I'm not retiring because of you. Everyone says... I'm not 
retiring because of you. Can I go now? No. You're going to give him two minutes of your time. Well, Brian, what am I? His therapist. Two minutes, Casper. That's all. Everyone says... Everyone's an idiot. Look, I'm not retiring because of you. I told Brian after Zandvoort. I'm sorry you found out the way you did. It's tough. Yeah, it can be. The press. Social media. I don't know. How do you deal with it all? Listen. There's only a handful of us in the whole world who get to do what we do. Yeah. A handful. You deal with it by never forgetting how lucky you are to be here. Understand? Never forget. Hey, Casper. Yeah? Do you ever forget? Sometimes. Sometimes we all do. Another top five finish for Aston Martin. Amongst the drama ants, they've been quietly racking up some good points. Yeah, it's caught me off guard a little bit, actually. When you look at the table, you realize they're not doing as badly as you might think. Aston Martin have been nothing if not entertaining this season, for good or bad. It'll be interesting to see how they fare by the end of the year. All I'm saying is that the team are back in the mix this season. That's how good you've done. Yeah. You're ending your career on a high just like you wanted. You really couldn't ask for much better. You want one? Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. What? N nothing. I'm, I'm fine. You haven't driven like this in ages. You're out there having a great time. You're raking in the points, but you're doing your moody face. I'm not doing my moody face. Stop that. Like this. <laughs> okay. It's Aiden. What about him? Well, he's still not right. He's moping around, anxious, apologetic. I think he's struggling. I thought you were going to ignore him. Well, yeah, but he's just a kid. He needs support. From you? So, how many races have I got left? What's this all about, Cass? Let's say that uh, I've got three or four months left in F1. What if... Go on. Nah, forget it. No, what? You laugh at me. Promise not to. It just sounds so stupid. <laughs> what does? What if I can... Oh my god. What? You've gone soft, haven't you? I knew you'd make fun of me. You want to make the F1 world a better place before you retire. You want to help the team, help aid in your own career be damned. And what if I did? <laughs> so Casper Ackerman does have a heart after all. I'll alert the media. No, no, Zoe, I'm serious. What if I did? What could you do? Well, Mercedes has got a, a seat coming up next season. Some say they might even sign him. That is his dream. And you think you could help? I honestly don't know. That's quite some achievement for Aston Martin's Casper Ackerman, getting the fastest lap out. Yeah, it's not often you see any team outside the top three pick up that extra point. Aston Martin went with what looked like an aggressive tyre strategy, but it paid off for them. Incredible, really. Aston Martin now very much in the mix for a strong midfield finish this season. And who knows, they might even be eyeing up fourth place. 
will be delighted. I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> You've been wonderful. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but, uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, uh, Casper. You will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. And let's push for four. Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, Aiden. You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper. Hey. Where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't? Wow. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. Why didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss. I don't care what you'd rather, Hayden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent's been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah. Hence the frosty reception. Everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just, I don't know. What about you? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? You wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him? You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. <laughs> it would be funny if it wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. Well, I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> you can apologize to me later. I don't understand. I'm an idiot. Why? Paddock gossip. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the center of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler? And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? Look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Canada. And how much easier has he had it because of all of that? What can we do? Beat him. Hey. 
Hey. How are you finding it out there today? <sighs> Tough. We're overheating the tires a little through the S's. Yeah, happens. Do you mind if I join you for a moment? Please. They want us to push for fourth. You think Alfa Romeo catchable? Maybe. Butler's having a good season. He claims he has been approached by Mercedes. I heard. He is the more experienced driver. I think the seat goes to him. You said it had always been your dream to drive for them. Is that true? Yeah. It is. Okay, I'm going to give you space out there. I'm sorry I didn't do that before. I'm sorry too. I want us to push for four. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. Thanks, Casper. I don't know how we make that happen, but thanks. Well, we work together, help each other out. That's all we can do. Then let's do that. Uh, we've adjusted the camber. Seems to help manage the tire temperatures a bit better. Yeah? I'll get them to share my setup data with you. Just see how it feels out there. Thank you, Casper. Truce. Truce? Another action-packed Japanese Grand Prix comes to an end. And what a magnificent drive to take the win here today. Aston Martin continue to put the pressure on Alfa Romeo. That gap might still be a little too big to close. But for Aston Martin, it's very much game on. Yeah, when I think back even just a couple of months, Crofty, I didn't have Aston Martin pegged to be competing with Alfa Romeo. Both Jackson and Ackerman performing at their absolute best out there today. Well, they certainly were, and no sign of any disputes on or off track between the pair of them. Might they have put their differences behind them? Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Solid performance out there today, Casper. You must be pleased. Yeah, the competition feels like it's fiercer than ever this season. And the team is working really hard to keep up, so we're grateful for every point we earn. Those points bring you a little bit closer to Alfa Romeo. Is that something you're particularly focused on during the race? Absolutely. We're into the business end of the season now, and we want to climb as many places as we can. Right now, that means catching Alfa Romeo. So, any time we can put the pressure on a little, that's good for us. We asked Devin Butler a similar question. He said, and I quote, Aston Martin are a bit of a shambles. I don't think they're catching us anytime soon. What? <laughs> I have no interest in anything Devin Butler has to say. Appreciate your time. Fellas. Sell out crowd this, eh? Casper, I haven't seen you since you announced your retirement. No. Well, fair play to you, mate. It takes a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, I'm, I'm just saying you're a brave man. I'm paying you a compliment. Now you're saying I can't compete? Nah, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant some have said that, uh, well, you're past your prime, that's all. That won't work anymore, Devon. I'm sorry, <laughs> what won't work? We know what you've been saying about us. Oh, I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. You know, I used to think you were just a gossip, Devon. Now I know you're a liar. <laughs> oh, come on! You guys, you guys used to be so much more fun! Used to get into fights, take each other out of races. We all enjoyed that. 
I mean, you know, it was very entertaining. Now, you just mope around bickering over who said what. It's a bit petty, to be honest, guys. Seriously, you're supposed to be role models. Yeah, I won't argue with you, Devin. I won't win. Yeah, you do seem to struggle a bit with winning, to be fair. Yeah. And maybe you are right. Maybe I am past it. But he's not. And he's the better driver. <laughs> what, the rookie? He's only just got here. You do know the Mercedes seat is mine. The contract's as good as signed. There's just one problem with that, Demon. Huh? Enlighten me. I don't believe a word you say anymore. Tell him, mate. Uh, mate? I don't know who this is going to. Well, this season promises to end in quite the dramatic fashion. The tussle for the top continues, but in the midfield, Aston Martin very much closing the gap on Alfa Romeo. Both teams have had a terrific season. Butler and Jackson rumoured to be in the running for that open Mercedes seat too. I can't wait to see how it all plays out. If you're anything like us, you won't want the season to end, but end it must. From here on in, every second of every lap counts. What a riveting season it's been. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Yet another victory over rivals Alfa Romeo today, Casper, and more speculation over whether or not you can steal that fourth place. Would you... Well, yes, and rightfully so, in my opinion. We've had our eye on fourth place for a while now, even when others have ridden us off. We're working tirelessly to make every second of every race count, and it's right that that's reflected in the standings. We know what we're capable of, and we know we can do it. Your retirement grows ever closer, of course. Is that something you think about? Yes, of course. It's easy to take a race for granted when it's all you ever do. But when you only have a certain number of races left, each one takes on a greater importance somehow. I think my retirement has allowed me to enjoy my racing a little bit more, and I'm grateful for that. Are you looking forward to your retirement? How will you spend it? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? I'm still an F1 driver, and I still plan on driving the remaining races. Ask me again when the season's over. Great, well, that's everything. Welcome to Abu Dhabi, and we're just about to start today's race here at the Yas Marina circuit. This is a track known for its long, long back straight, and it serves as a fantastic opportunity for overtaking, going into the slow speed corners that follow it. The drivers will be racing here at the Yas Marina circuit through 21 corners and a lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns eight and turn 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed, and I hope plenty of drama to be found in the laps ahead. Aston Martin could still catch Alfa Romeo today, but it's a pretty tall order. And to you still surprised they are where they are? I am, to be honest, yeah. When you look back at how they finished last season, the fight they had in Canada, the antagonism on and off track, these two really weren't getting on. I think a lot of people, myself included, had written them off. Well, they've been nothing if not surprising, the Aston Martin pair. Of course, neither driver may be with them next season. Yeah, it's Ackerman's last race today. I'll certainly be sorry to see him go. And they say Jackson and Mercedes are in talks, so who knows? Well, Mercedes continue to be cagey about that open seat for next season, claiming that no decision's been made yet, and they'll see how this season concludes first. Let's run you through the driver... Plenty of overtakes from this man, Ackerman, today, and here's another one to chalk off. This guy shouldn't be retiring from Formula One. And what's happening here? It looks like Giovinazzi's retiring. 
And so I'm not sure what the issue is, but there's a potential opportunity here for Aston Martin, as it seems that Devon Butler's been left alone to see off the competition. And he's not having the best of days, Crofty. A few mistakes creeping in here and there, a few lockups. This race isn't over yet. So Aston Martin potentially on track to really upset Alfa Romeo here, with Ackerman leading Butler and Jackson not too far behind. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. He's trying to win that place back, but which way is he going to go? Down the inside he goes, and they've hit each other. That's really aggressive from Devon Butler. He sends both cars spinning out. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. Too late on the brakes. I'm sure the stewards will be looking at this one after the race. But the Aston Martin car's still moving. The Dutchman looks to be continuing, Ant. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty, but he has suffered significant damage. There are points still up for grabs today, though, don't forget. Well, that is significant, but can Kasper Ackermann's Aston Martin car finish? You OK, Kasper? The data they sent suggests the car is compromised. That's fine. I can finish. Uh, Butler's out of the race. Butler's out. We have a shot. Jackson's closing fast, Kasper. OK. You need to go for third, Aiden. Uh, Bobby, third. What about Casper? What, we let Aiden pass? Let Aiden pass. Do the best you can, Casper. How's the car? Good enough. Will you give a message to Aiden? And they've done it! What a season this has been for Aston Martin. Even a race or two ago, you wouldn't have believed it, but they finished fourth in the constructors. If the rumours are to be believed, they'll be reluctant now to let young Aiden Jackson go. What a talent he's proved to be. And an incredible end to an incredible career for Kasper Ackerman, who somehow found his way back into the race after that nasty scrape with Butler. What a race here in Abu Dhabi. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Hey. Kasper! We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash yet? Um, no. What happened? No, I'll let you see it for yourself. And Butler's OK? Roast ego, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, I just came to congratulate you all. And bid you a fond farewell. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you later. We'll celebrate. Uh, stay for a bit. No, no, no. Oh, come on. What are they going to do? Discipline you? This isn't my victory, Casper. This is ours. Some race. Yeah, some race. You know, you had us all worried for a moment. Brian, when have I ever let you down? You really want me to answer that? Best not. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Now the pleasure has been mine, Brian. Heck of a career you've had, Cass. Casper! And I think you'll want it. Casper! Casper! For heaven's sake, man, get out there. You've earned it. <laughs> <laughs>